Divine Collective, hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to channel some messages from the Holy Spirit today um, because that message I just channeled was not nearly enough. It was 30 minutes and it's like not nearly enough. There's so many downloads that I've had in the last couple days. Um, Holy Spirit, can you please help me channel messages of love and light for the collective at this time? The Divine Collective, it needs it. I heard medicine woman, medicine woman, and something's over. Something's over. You might be healing yourself right now. There might be somebody who just like naturally healed yourself using a remedy, or you're going to get like a natural remedy. Yeah. I think somebody's scared about something, um, health wise. You're going to find very pleasant news soon. Okay. Your spirit team is leading you to like a natural holistic remedy for something, yeah. I'm hearing you don't have insurance or something like that. They're, yeah, they're leading you. They're leading you somewhere to get like a natural holistic remedy. That's what I'm hearing. Also, if you have a, a dog or a cat that's sick, it's also there. It's a remedy for them. Like, I'm not sure what it is. Um, they're showing me clay. So like bentonite clay, look, I'm not a doctor guys, not at all, but bentonite clay, go look it up if you want. Anyway, you're gonna be, you're gonna be getting that soon. Um, Holy Spirit, what message do we have for the general collective, the, the divine collective the, of good people? Look, I'm over it, bro. I'm over trying to channel messages for people don't give a shit. You either give a shit or you don't. You shit or get off the pot. Look at that eight of swords. Like you're either in or you're out. I hate to say this message this way, but listen, I've been having to lay it down for people lately. You're either in and picking the side of light or you're picking the side of darkness. It is a fucking choice. And any more, listen, as I'm channeling the king of wands, thank you, Jesus. Any more... I am so over those who pretend to be ready and they are really truly not ready. Like collective, I think that this is some, some really channeled anger that you have like real frustration here, real frustration at the level of scaredy cats that are around you. Like people are just timid. They're like shy, they're gun shy. They're, they don't wanna like pull the trigger and look at this nine of swords, five of wands. They are afraid of conflict. Nope, nope, you're either in or you're out. You're either in or you're out. You're either here for the spiritual war. You're either here for, bro, you're either here for spiritual war or you can sit your ass on the sideline. I don't care. Not my problem. Two, two, two on the clock. That could be important for somebody. This is like, you have underestimated the, the amount of, uh, of, of scaredy catness in this person. Okay. My phone's going to die. I have 5% left. So I'm going to really, really have to make this quick. I feel like that's somebody in a relationship right now. You're almost like, I need to make this quick. I don't even want to be around you because it, it appears that you don't believe in what I believe in. Seven of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, the moon in reverse. What's this? What's the seven of Pentacles? Six of Wands. What's that? You know, and the thing is, this person recognizes it too. Like they know. We got the hermit here confirming the six of wands. Like this person knows the truth about spiritual warfare. Like they, 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 they know, they know. Like this person knows shit about shit, okay? They know deep truth, man. Deep esoteric truth is what I'm hearing. Some of them know like a lot as the hermit. They could be dealing with a, v, a Virgo or their name could start with V or your name could start with a V. Nine of pentacles. It's like this person wants to be left alone and I hate to tell you guys, but leave them alone. Leave them alone. They want to be left alone. They're afraid. They're scared of conflict. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to fight with anybody. They don't want to fight this fight. They just, it's like this person wants to sit out and you're starting to learn this, that you are in love with somebody who is acting very cowardly and very childish right now. And, and Spirit's asking you to pull your energy back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Two of cups, six of pentacles, four of wands. You think this is your twin flame. It might be. I'm not here to tell you yay or nay on that you know if you know it's your soul like you would know right it's like but this person is being like a complete well i heard ass hat if, it, if, it, if the shoe fits wear it all right anyway what is going on here with this uh viewer please uh, the, i, I want to say this is a collective message but it feels this person does not have passion in their life at all at all they have they, they're just like no thank you i don't want what you're doing i feel like this person has literally told you recently like i don't want to heal leave me alone what's going to happen here spirit Leave me alone. I don't want to heal. Talent. Like you have a natural raw talent at doing this, like healing mission and being a warrior and being a, a you know what I mean? Like a psychic. I heard a psychic. This person, look at that. This person's afraid of truth. This person is afraid of the truth that you know. This person is afraid of being a psychic. This person is terrified. Look at this clarity. They're afraid of their own clairvoyant gifts. You can't make it up. 444 on the clock. They're afraid of their own um, um, psychic gifts here. And we have strength in reverse. They are taking the L. They are, they are sitting on the sideline.